I'm Amanda Hodge. I'm the director of the Animal Welfare League of Queen Anne's County in Queenstown, Maryland. And I've brought with me today two four to five week old kittens. Uh, we've had them for about two weeks and they came, they're part of a litter of five that came in without their mom. So we've been raising them in hopes that they'll get a good home. Um, our baby kittens should be ready to go when they're about eight weeks, but they have to reach two pounds before they can be spayed or neutered, and then they'll be ready to go home after that. So today I'd like to talk about uh, some tips for keeping your pets safe in the hot weather as summer is approaching us on the eastern shore. Um, it's important that we take some extra steps to make sure that all of our pets are safe. Um, the first thing I think we're going to talk about is food. Um, in the heat, your pet may eat less than it normally eats, and that's okay. Um, you need to keep an eye on making sure they're getting the right nutrients, though. Uh, one thing that I always look for is in the uh, food I'm feeding my pets, I always look for the first three ingredients on the bag or the can. And if it's something I would eat, then I think it's something that my pet should eat. Um, if your pet is really significantly eating less in the heat, uh, you may want to really bring them inside and make sure that they've cooled down uh, because we don't want to deprive them of the nutrients that they need.